Asus makes software called AI Suite 3 that allows you to update your BIOS within Windows. Now, while this isn't really anything new, it may be new to you. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through it step by step and make sure that it, you know you get your BIOS up to date. All you really have to do is download the program, get it installed, download the BIOS file, let the software do the rest. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, what's up guys, it's Jason. If you are new here on this channel, I do a lot of computer builds, tech reviews, software tutorials, things like that. So if that seems like something that interests you, after this video, go check out the rest of my channel. If you see anything helpful, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of my future content. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be using my X570E gaming motherboard and update it to its latest BIOS. The first thing you're going to want to do is do a Google search of your motherboard and that should return an ASUS link at the top. Go ahead and click it and then browse on over to the support tab at the top of the screen. Next you will select driver and tools and then select your OS. In this case I'm going to be using Windows 11. From here you will scroll down to utilities and this is where we will download and install AI Suite 3. Once the download has complete, you're going to go ahead and extract that file, open that folder, and then locate the ASUS setup file. Go ahead and run that so that you can get started with installing AI Suite 3. Go ahead and accept the UAC, select all three options, and click install. Once that installation is complete, you're going to return back to the ASUS website and locate the latest BIOS file for your motherboard. Be sure to check the date, make sure you're getting the latest BIOS file, and then go ahead and hit download. Next, you'll do exactly what you did with AI Suite 3. You'll extract the file so that you can locate the cat file, which is going to be the file we'll use for your BIOS update. Next, you will open AI Suite 3 and then click on the menu on the left to access Easy Update. Once the Easy Update window has opened, you're going to click on the three dots and then browse to your cap file. Now, this is going to be basically named after your motherboard. Go ahead and select it and then hit Open. On the right of the window, it will show you your old version and that you're going to the new version. So just double check that and then we'll go ahead and get started with the update. Once you have located and opened the file, go ahead and click the flash button off to the right. Now it's going to prompt you and basically say that you're going to start the BIOS update, hit OK. Your computer will restart and then it will go into the BIOS where the BIOS update will begin. As you can see in this particular case, we are going from BIOS version 4204 to 4403. Now the BIOS update is going to take about three to five minutes to process. So just go ahead and let it do its thing. When it is complete, it will prompt you and ask you to restart the computer. Once the computer restarts, you may get an error indicating that you're unable to boot into Windows. So what you have to do is go back into your setup and then browse to the boot menu and then enable CSM so that you can basically uh, recognize your SSD or your hard drive so that you can boot back into Windows. All right guys, so hopefully you got your BIOS up to date. Everything went pretty smooth. If you did have any problems or you got stuck anywhere, go ahead and leave those questions down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Just remember though, that after you get your BIOS up to date, you are gonna to have to reconfigure some of your settings, whether it's your boot order or your overclock settings, things like that. If you've got it up to date and everything went smooth, you pretty much now know how to update your BIOS, at least with ASUS and using AI Suite 3. So later on down the line, if there's any type of BIOS update that you have to have or your computer requires, this is exactly what you'll do. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys watching it and I'll see you all next time.